We are told that Tishabav is the day that the spies returned from their spy mission and told the Jewish people about the problems in the land. And what occurred was the whole nation broke down and cried. And uh, God said, you're crying for this? You want to cry? I'll give you reason to cry. And therefore, this became Tisha B'Av, the saddest day in the Jewish calendar. That story is absolutely mind-boggling. But God says, you want to cry? I'll show you crying. What do you think he is? Some bad parent? Fact is, is, is that what exactly is God saying? See, you really have to understand, why do people cry? Well, there's obviously different reasons, but why were these people crying? You know, what happened in the story of the spies is extremely mind-boggling. You know, here's a, a nation where God basically um, totally um, wiped out the most powerful nation in the world with miracles. They're living in the desert, totally outside the rules of nature. You want water? There's a miraculous well over here. You want food? We got, we got food coming down from heaven. Right? Everything's taken care of. Well, could someone please explain to me why would these people feel, be afraid that they won't be able to conquer the nations in, uh, in, 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 in Canaan? We bring out our secret weapon, God, and it's game over. Why were the people crying? Why were they so hopeless? because they understood that at some point in time God could not relate to the Jewish people only based on chesed. God had the attribute of din. In fact, that's the purpose of this world. Be deserving of certain responses from God. To do mitzvot and build up our own bank so that we become responsible to God. And we become, we, we, we become deserving from God. That's why the people were hopeless. They knew God could wipe out the nations, but they were concerned that they would not be deserving of God's miracles. That was their hopelessness. That was their crying. Oh, no! We're not going to be able to do it. We're not going to be able to be such a deacon to deserve of God to, to, to break from the normal way of, of nature and, and protect us from, these, from, these, from this enemy. Oh, no, we're not going to be deserving. They were hopeless about themselves. And that's the real lesson of Tisha B'Av, is that we have to recognize that if you're hopeless, it means you're hopeless about yourself. You want to cry? Well, guess what? Recognize that what you're really crying about is you. You really don't believe in yourself and your ability to be deserving of God's grace. Guess what? The real challenge we have on, on Tisha B'Av is to negate that hopelessness, to believe in ourselves and that we are deserving of God's grace.